Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, coming at you with more early access from the Brothers War event. So that makes this video sponsored by Wizards of the Coast because they provided this stocked account to play the games and the matches about four or five days before these actually come out on MTG Arena. And before you get all jealous in the comments like, ah, CGB, why didn't they let us play? Look, it's a curse. I have to make like seven videos videos today because God knows you guys don't want to see any footage of any old standard when a new set is about to launch. So I have to spend every minute of today just being your video content factory. I do it for you. And it's a curse. I tell you, it's a curse. It, it's great. I love it. I can't lie for very long. Anyway, let's talk about the deck. Esper. Esper turned out to be the best deck at the end of the last format after the Meat Hook ban. There was nothing to keep Wedding Announcement in check, and Black was still super powerful, and when you add Blue, the opponent can't go over the top of you because you just bring in some counter spells. So Esper absolutely dominated at Worlds. It was 69% of the meta. And now, will the new cards put Esper in its place, or will they make Esper even better? Well, the new cards are really good, and they seem to tie into Esper perfectly. Starting with Teferi, the Temporal Pilgrim. This is a five-mana Planeswalker, and for zero, you draw a card. That's cool, but why no plus? Because whenever you draw a card, you put a loyalty counter on Teferi. Wait, what? So you're telling me, if I have a Rafine and I attack with two creatures and I have a Teferi, I get two loyalty counters right there? Yes, that's what I'm telling you. It's really good. The minus two creates a two, two blue spirit creature token with vigilance, and it gets plus one, plus one counter whenever you draw a card. So also awesome with Rafine. Uh, then on top of that, the minus 12 can be kind of a board wipe, a board bounce for the opponent. Pretty amazing, but this card, Seems so good with Rafine that I had to get in and play it right away. The other card that I think is really important for the deck is Evangel of Synthesis. This is a blue and a black for a 2-3 Phyrexian Human Cleric. It's an uncommon, yay wild cards. And when it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. So, you know, right on theme there. And it says as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn, it gets plus one plus oh and has menace. That is terrifying with Rafine. Absolutely terrifying. You play this on turn two, then you play Rafine, you attack with this, you connive, it goes up to being a 3-3 three, three because it's your second card. If you discard a non-land, it goes up to being a 4-4 four, four with Menace for your two drop. So that goes in the deck. And then I'm also trying one Lauren of the third path. This is a two one vigilance when it enters you destroy an artifact or enchantment. The tap ability though, is usually the downside, the side of the card you don't want to use. It says you and target opponent each draw a card. Well, we have got a lot of things that trigger when we draw cards. So Lauren can make the Evangel go off, can make the Teferi things bigger. You can even make the opponent lose life because you have Shieldred. So yeah, this deck is for best of one is build 100% about curving out with your two drops into a Rafine, into a Shieldred, into a Teferi, and every single extra card you might draw triggers something awesome in the deck. It's going to be a dangerous contender, I believe, but don't take my word for it. Let's go play the games and see how it does. Let's dive in. Let the Rafini nonsense begin. All right, we don't have a two drop. This is a very defensive hand, but we're on the draw, so that can work for us. Samsoni is coming out with a Voldaren Epicure. There's our two drop. We'll see if we end up priced into going for the throat. Synthesizer, is this Anvil? There's a swamp, so it feels like Anvil. I guess let's get on the board. Draw a discard. What do we discard? I think we discard the tower. I definitely don't feel like I need another tapped land. I need to curve from here. Surge. Sacking the synthesizer. That's good value. And hitting another land drop. Synthesizer helped hit both those land drops. Not a devastating board presence though. Let's go ahead and play the Sanctum and let's get the announcement going. You're all invited to my wedding. Dress nice. Don't embarrass me. I've seen some of the stuff you say in comments. All right. 
Void Rend, Mishra claimed by Gix. When you attack, each opponent loses X, where X is the number of attacking creatures. What do you think? Do we play the Evangel? Do we hold up Wandering Emperor Void Rend and go for the throat? I think the answer is yes. The opponent attacks into it, we get the Emperor. They have another Epicure. Owie. I met Samsoni at events. He's a nice guy. All right. We've got to take out this Braids. That is terrifying. I'm going to put a stop second main. So that's probably... That's going to be a spot removal. And no attacks because of Wandering Emperor. Okay. Do we go for the throat? Do we Void Rend? Let's go for the throat. Save the Void Rend. We might need it for something else. No braiding. No braids. Only two cards left over there. And we've got good defense. If we draw land, it might make sense to play a Teferi. Just get it going. Shieldred. Ooh. Hmm. Will the opponent be able to clear a Shieldred? Let's spend another turn doing nothing here. Holding up Voidrend and Wandering Emperor. It kept Samsoni from attacking last turn. What will he do this turn? He's going to dig with a blood token. There's your Shieldred. Okay. No attacks. So we can void run that Shieldred. And we all know Shelly's got to go. Another wedding announcement. So this time, I guess I could price myself into Wandering Emperor no matter what. There's only one card left. Only one card left. Let's play our own Shieldred now. Let's see if Samsoni can deal with that. No. <laughs> All right. Feels nice. It's a 5-6 too. So these creatures ganging up does not help. Let's go for it. No Wandering Emperor over there. Let's be aggressive. Takes it. Wow. Wow. All right. I'm just going to get another wedding announcement going then. And we'll see. Maybe you can discard a dragon engine to a blood token. Go for the throat. Okay. Found an answer. Here comes Mishra. Can only kill one of these tokens. So let's grab them all. They can all get in front. I think you have another Mishra though. Voltage Surge takes down one. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. <laughs> My tokens. Have you met Sheldred? <laughs> Seems pretty good. All right, still didn't draw a dragon engine. That's like the one draw that gets you back in this. I love how we've drawn three Teferis without drawing the next land. I want to play a Teferi so bad. I'm going to play the Evangel. There we go. Teferi next turn. Epicur. Only eight life here. Lovely. We're doing it. We're doing it. Fast as a puzzle. I'm going to solve it. Just draw cards and add loyalties and gain life and chill. Easy. Just going to wall up around our favorite temporal pilgrim. It does give our opponent a chance to draw it into the dragon engine, which I kind of want for them. Gix. Whenever something hits, you draw. Well, you don't have much life to pay. That's pretty rough. Let's keep the cards coming. It feels good. Feels real good. Whew. It's a lot of life. All right, guys. 
Put them to the test. Everybody's coming. You can block all of it. Some of your stuff can even live or trade. But what about that wandering emperor, huh? That'll do it. Okay. Well, then this should be enough. I'm home. Show them how we greet our Oh my goodness. That was some Esper nonsense. Hey, cool kids, it's me, CGB, and I'm partnering with CoolStuffInc.com to bring you the Covert Go Blue Dragon Rider Playmat. Each high-quality stitched edge playmat features the incredible art of Andrea Garcia and comes bundled with a matching premium foil dragon token with gold gilt edges. This playmat is too hot to handle, and you can pre-order it exclusively through CoolStuffInc.com today. Cool stuff in stock. Well, it's a pain land mana base, but we have Denik, and we just need to draw land on the play to have the Rafine curve, so we keep. Uh, I hope it's not mono red. I'm gonna go straight for Denik to try to even out the life we're gonna pay just trying to find our next land. Dragon Spark Reactor. Whenever it enters the battlefield, and whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a charge counter on it for damage. Okay. Lots of artifacts, and then for four mana, nuke stuff. Fun. All right, let's see what we hit here. It's got to be a land. Got there. And it's one of the best ones we could hit. All right, how many artifacts can you make this turn? Because obviously that is the point of the deck, right? I'm gonna power stone up. We got Urza, oh God. All right, this is gonna be something. So we could Rafine. We could also go for the throat, but that would be the only thing we could play this turn. So I think we are going to Rafine. I'm gonna, hmm. I hold this? Also, there's the, if we attack and they block, Iganjo only costs two. But man, do I want the land. Let's just get the land down and Rafine. Draw two. This will have Menace, so we need to discard two spells. Think you can go. I want to keep the go for the throat. I should discard the Teferi. I should discard the Teferi. I should definitely be discarding the Teferi. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> All right, opponent is at 10. There's the Might Stone and Weak Stone. It's happening. So they can target the Rafine and they could actually pay the ward cost if they wanted with the two from the Might Stone and Weak Stone. But, uh, you know, they decided to blow up Denik. Well, looks like we're going to have to hold up a go for the throat to keep Urza from winning the game. Let's go into the air here. So we can play a wedding announcement this turn. That's nice. I think we just go all in here. Go for the go for damage. And then this is as a sorcery, so I should be able to go for the throat in response, I think. But let's put it to the test. Does Urza even save you? I don't know if going for it even saves you. Sniper. Enters the battlefield, two damage to any target. Interesting. What's that going to do? Target the Evangel. One more counter on the reactor. Twin shot sniper, huh? And another one. Okay. 
That's pretty good. And this has a reach. Maybe I can't win here. I guess I could draw into a removal spell and take out the other, but it's an artifact creature. Okay. I guess I should have just cur killed Urza when I saw the first one and I knew that they weren't going to meld. Because now they can block. But I guess we'll get to Fairy down. And make the spirit. Then attack with the Rafine. Draw and discard. Uh, actually... Yeah, they're gonna block anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter if I discard a spell or not, even though it's not totally lethal damage. And we immediately get some payback on both Teferi and the Spirit. Oh, they go to one. I guess I was wrong. Let's see what happens this turn. It's 20 to one, opponent. Do something impressive. Gosh, you love Teferi there. It's like it was a minus one for a three, three Vigilance. And that's just Rafine being by itself with no other creatures to attack. Damage equal to the number of charge counters to target player and up to one target creature. Reactor takes out the spirit. All right, still not technically dead here. And a Fable, that makes a blocker. No attacks. Draw, make, disappear. Let's bring out the Denic. Make the Spirit. Try to keep the pressure very high. Attack all. Let's put the counters over here. Ooh, yay, land. Discard these. Triggers, 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 triggers. The sniper does get to kill my token, unfortunately, but we have another clue now, and we have make disappear. Let's hold this. It can be a trick. And that's another draw, which is more loyalty and more size for everybody from the wedding announcement. What does Fable get? Discard a reactor and a creature. Oh, a Lauren of your own. Oh wait, this is a different card. Uh, whenever another legendary creature enters the battlefield, return an artifact from graveyard to hand. Interesting. And we're gonna get to see it. I do want to see it, so we're letting that happen. Let's see what you get back. Okay, a reactor. Opponent's still very much alive at this point. They might scoop when they see what I go for with the Takanuma, which we can use for two mana because we have two legendaries. Come here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Go ahead and make more spirits, because why not? Swing them. Oof, triggers, triggers, triggers. Triggers, triggers, triggers. All for drawing cards? <laughs> Oh, I find this sickly satisfying. This is like the sixth or seventh video I've made today. So I might not be pogging out the way you might expect for that many triggers, but trust me. I am feeling it in here. My heart is just filling up on draw card positive triggers. We are on the draw with Evangel and Removal Spell and good mana, so it's going to be a keep. We're up against Power Dragon. He's a good dude. He might have the longest daily video streak on YouTube now, and I think he's going to pass mine uh, sometime like in the next couple months, I think he was telling me, but I'm not positive about that. You'll have to check with him. 
Gala greeters. Hi, how you doing? So if we play black, we can't play Denik. Maybe we're just supposed to go for the throat this because it does spiral pretty aggressively. Yeah, let's just not do that. Especially with these pain lands, letting them have life and treasures might make a big difference. Okay, welcoming vampire. That's another good one. I think I've got to kill that too. All right. Two threats up, two threats down. Let's hope they were the good ones. Gatilda. All right, there will be mana. And then two mana open. Might be resolute reinforcements. I guess I'll try a Shieldred. There's a chance he doesn't play removal. In which case, Shieldred can really take over a game. And of course, Shieldred's also better when it's on the field and you're using Evangel to gain some life. Ooh. Made some creatures here. I wonder why only three and not four. All right, let's develop a board. Obviously, we have to be mindful. They, He's playing white. So Wandering Emperor is definitely a card that can be in this deck. But it seems like a very go whitey kind of strategy. And we discard a Plaza and we have a Teferi in hand. Don't think... I mean, this, these cards are sweet, but I guess the Wandering Emperor can go. We'll probably gain so much life from Shieldred if it stays on the battlefield. That, oh my god! Portal to Phyrexia! My stuff! You killed all my things! Oh, that's ice cold. Now what? Do we get out Rafine? Do we make a 3-2 here? So every turn you're going to get a creature from the graveyard? I guess I can't beat that. And you're going to get my Shieldred? I definitely can't beat that. So I play this, I draw. There isn't enough power there to kill Teferi yet, so let's get it out of the way before the Shieldred shows up. Okay, Portal is whack. Really sucks that I used my removal the way I did. That's <laughs> just casual nine drops in, in your human Awake in the Woods deck. Absolutely wild. Reconstruction for six. Look at the top seven. Put up to X. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Seems pretty good. Thank you for attacking my planeswalker. I have no way to come back from this. You, you've got it. You've definitely got it. You win. <laughs> I submit to your power. Today's Patreon shout out goes to Reggie Reckless. Reggie, thank you very much for joining at the token tier. Your shark and wolf tokens are on the way. They are signed with great precision. And there's even a fervent champion thrown in for good measure. If you would like sweet benefits such as tokens sent to your door or a shout out in video, check out patreon.com slash covert go blue or the link in the description. Reggie, you're very cool. Now back to the video. All right, good old Covert No Blue here on the play. Mulligan, it's the three color price you pay. Keep, and we'll put away the Destroy Evil and just curve with threats because we're on the play and you can get away with that. Brushwhack, search for a land or do fights. Land it is. Here's Denik. Green and white. Lion Sash. Okay. I can hate on the graveyard a bit. That could be a problem. Here's Rafine. Hmm, 
Should it be Wandering Emperor, Sheldred, or Wedding Announcement? I'm going to go with the Wedding Announcement. And cards and graveyards can't be targeted, so poor Lion Sash. It was going to have a moment there for a minute. Ooh. Dab monkey. No, it's like it's supposed to be. I, I don't know, man. Just leave me alone. Send him. These two can go. Five, six. Pretty strong. I guess I'll play Shieldred now. Oh my goodness. The curve. Like, what do you do? <laughs> new cards? I don't play new cards, apparently. Oh, that's going to make someone salty. We play Ali Eldrazi. And this is a hand I love keeping against everybody but Ali. Because he's going to be Greed Incarnate. He's going to go all the way big. And I've got to try to answer that. And usually spot removal is not good enough. So I have a feeling I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. But we're going to enjoy it. This Rafine's Tower might just need to get cycled. Surge Engine. That is an artifact creature. I cannot go for that throat. Mono blue? Mono blue right now. Okay. Well, I got a Void Rend. I have a bad feeling about all this, though. Thirst for Discovery. I expect him to play the 8 mana kind of omnisciency enchantment, so I'm holding my Void Run for it as long as it takes. The way I play against Ollie is going to be unlike the way I play against anybody else. I'm going to be holding all these for very specific, specific niches. Well, he, if he had a basic island, he would have just discarded it by now. Yeah, he's dropping two silver scrutinies. Ouch. So it was Blast Zone was the land. Ah, punished for it. It's probably a one of. All right, engine level up. Attacks. Mm, let's go ahead and kill it. Ollie might have invested three more mana to it. But this should do. It turns into a 5-4 if he puts three more mana into it. I'm going to play the caves because we need double white for Wandering Emperor sometime. But we'll go for the wedding announcement here. Counter spells, Ollie. Your jank reputation. All right, that's another non-basic. Let's send Denik. We'll send Denik to the job. Go get him, Denik. Not another dissipate? Good. How about some blast zone counters, huh? But I have a feeling that you really need that mana. Another thirst. The heck is going on? You know he's got a lot of spells because he discarded two scrutinies earlier. And it is Fading Hope and Make Disappear. Okay. Demolition Field. Field of Ruin, basically. Bank Buster. I still don't think I can go after that with a Void Rend. I think if I do, I will regret it. I know what he's going to play. He's going to play that stupid 8-mana enchantment. That's a big draw. Let's attack first. Oh, it's trying to give me pain-free white. I see. I wanted to hold up, like, all the colors to threaten all the things. But it needs pain-free white. Don't, 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 Ollie. Just let it happen. I, we're going to draw cards together. Doesn't that sound nice? That sucks. 
We needed that. This is my only basic, by the way. Ollie can absolutely devastate me. Just hasn't done it yet. No reservations about cutting down my opposition. Kind of unlucky to draw it in the spot where you least want to draw it. There's a Tezzeret. I think that's going to have to get void rendered. I don't think we have a choice, which means whatever big awesome card Ollie has up his sleeve is going to hit us. This card's two nons. So Blast Zone of Fading Hope. Only one card left, but Bankbuster to draw. There's a Rafine. I could try to attack this Tezzeret down. I'm holding on to this Void Rend for dear life. I also want to hit this land drop, and this go for the throat's not helping me. Let's go for it. There's the land. Wedding announce. Busty draw. Anytime. You can do it. You can do it, Ollie. You can do it now. Okay, this is going to be, I think, that return all permanence to their owner's hand spell, probably. Oh. Yep. Figured it out. Wrecked. I drew my only basic. Absolutely destroyed. Bangbuster draws for free because of Tezzeret static. Full rope comes out. Ollie also knows he can cripple my mana base at will. There's Teferi. is an interesting fact. Oh, we're here now? Okay, so I can play this plaza to protect one of the legendaries. Um, three, and then one, two, three. Not enough to kill the Teferi, so I guess I do have to rend it, potentially. Okay, so targeting that. What do we do? What do we do? That's going to leave up. He's going to get the island, so he'll have the one mana for the fading hope. So I guess we void rend the Teferi. We lose the plaza. We feel bad, but we have enough mana to recast Rafine, but they can't target that. So we'll probably target the Denic. So we have to make sure that it's Rafine that gets the... Rafine has to get the plus one, plus one counters in the connive. And at least one thing has to be a spell. This'll do. Nope, it needs to be two spells. Because then they can just bounce the uh, the token. So it's these three. Okay, can't wait to see what horrible fate befells me next. Underdog. Underdog could be helpful. 
but really needed our make disappear and our urtai our counter spells and matchups where the counter spells would be good that's what we need channel one two three four five six seven eight our opponent doesn't have enough to do everything yet so i keep on thinking about it. it's hercules final meditation as the card that bounces all non-land permanents and then there's an eight mana card that has like kind of this omniscience effect and i guess both of them are going to ruin me at this point so what do we do about it i still think our opponent has a fading hope from the way that they played. And I think they're going to bounce the Rafine. So I think we just want to blitz the underdog or hold up the Emperor. This is tough. Maybe we want to make some clues, but I don't think those matter that much. Yeah. Let's go for it. If they bounce the Denic back to the hand, it doesn't get exiled. Okay, got there. Connive on the token, I guess. It's not what he'd want to target. Oh, he's gonna do it. Okay. Falls to 12, we get a draw off the announcement. Hopefully some land, because we're very crippled in that department at this stage. Last zone up to three. We get another Rafine. 10 mana. Yep, probably absolute blowout when it comes meditation time, but we could still draw a make disappear. Or can we? Last zone. Hey, we got a clue. Are we finally going to see? We saw a fading hope earlier. What else could you have here? So take it. Okay. See if we can draw a land. Another underdog. Guess I'll play another Rafine. There's this command. Create a construct token, sky one draw. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Dude, I've been playing magic too long today to sit through this. It's killing me. Come on, Ollie. <laughs> you can do it. Just finish me. I don't I don't want to get destroyed much longer. Silex? Great. That'll be fun. Look forward to that. Okay. Doesn't know about destroy evil. One card left. Biggest problem we have there is the bankbuster combo. Six life, though. This is three in the air. Doesn't know about the shielded. If that resolves, that's down to one. 
Maybe we just go for Wandering Emperor on the Denik. We are at 34. All right, I'm going to shoot my shot. Is it time for the engine to do engine-like things? Maybe draw some cards? And what's that last card? Is that another counter spell? Is it a bounce spell? Trying to put you to two. Not a lot of life gain. In big blue. Hit. Okay. Blast zone goes to two. Surge engine levels to unblockable. Looks like a line has been selected. Maybe not. <laughs> Third time's a charm, Molly. I'm sure you'll find exactly which lens to tap in your mono blue deck. Lolly. If you didn't have mighty biceps, I would never put up with this. <laughs> Draw three cards. Okay. Seems really good. Whoa, all right, coming at me. I think we gotta force some action here. So I'm gonna try to kill this engine. Let's see what he does. This is gonna force him to pop the Karn Silex for four if he wants to get rid of the Emperor. He also probably wants to hold up the Blast Zone on two to catch an underdog. The Blast Zone can also catch a Shieldred if there's enough mana open. Okay, resolves. Do I block? I think we can afford the four. Uses the treasure. Silex. Three mana open. I cast Shieldred the Apocalypse. What a top deck. It took a while to get there, but we got there. <laughs> uh, better lucky than good. Put it on the stack. Put it on the stack, Ollie. Take your two. Wait, I'm, I'm supposed to like and and stuff like that. Go follow Ollie. Good dude.